Hi guys, um, so today I'm going to talk about something called ERP or Event Related Potentials in EEG. Um, if you've ever tried to um, measure brain waves through EEG, chances are you've heard of the uh, abbreviation of ERP. So what the heck is ERP? Basically, there's two ways to look at the EEG data. One of them um, is a traditional way and it's called frequency-based. Um, the other one is ERP. Um, let's think about the, um, the frequency-based first. Uh, basically, what it means is that when you use EEG to uh, measure the brain waves, uh, frequency-based, um, you look at the whole brain waves that is happening at that moment in time in the brain. Now let's look at um, or try to understand at least the ERPs or event related potential. Essentially what it means is that um, the researcher introduces a stimuli into the research and then measures the brain waves at that particular in time. Let's say that um, I am the um, subject and you are the researcher, uh, you show me a picture at that moment in time and you want to see how my brain reacts what type of brain waves it, for example it elicits and whatnot and so that is when we are calling it event related potential um, because it means that for that particular event in this case a picture that you showed me you want to see what my brain does now, let me show you an example from my own dissertation. I do have the copyright, so I can show you that um, what an ERP, for example, potentially would look like. In this case, if you look at this image that I have, this is uh, one of my analysis. This is one participant's here. Um, there, are, there are scalps in different um, um, brain waves, uh, for example, here. It shows 8 hertz, which is alpha wave, 15, 22, and so forth. And basically, it says that at this point in time, here is where the brain elicited um, an alpha wave. And that is where you know that, okay, when you introduce, for example, that was the brain wave that was elicited. So to sum up, when you talk about frequency-based or EEG, as opposed to ERP, the only difference is basically how you look at it. Um, it just sounds fancier, but in other, but if you if you think about it, it just means how you are looking at it. You are, for example, want to see either throughout your experience what the whole what the brain wave was throughout the experience. Let's say if you measure the brain waves for a whole minute. Uh, you would know that, for example, um, there are specific brain waves that were elicited, but with ERP, you're introducing, for example, one picture at um, the 30th second, let's say, and you want to see what the brain did at that moment in time. So I hope this was helpful to you all. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'm trying to make neuroscience, and in this particular case, uh, EEG measurement a little bit more accessible and understandable um, to users, even folks for folks who don't necessarily have neuroscience background. Uh, my book is also coming out soon. Um, um, I think in about a week or so, I'll be able to um, publish it. It's an ebook. Um, this uh, one is for free. It's a very, very short book and just give you and hopefully I'll be able to uh, follow up with other books where uh, I'm intending to publish the ones that are more like a handbook. Um, so it's going to be a step-by-step. -step. I'm trying to really, really simplify all these steps so that if you want to use it for your practices or for your research or um, for any any other um, usage that you might have, uh, you would be able to hopefully follow those steps and um, do your own research or look at your own the brain waves um, or if you want to use it for your own business. Um, let me know. Keep the comments coming. Um, my email is in the description box. Um, as well as other ways where you can reach me.
Um, so hope, hopefully this was helpful to you and happy EEGing and I'll see you next time. Bye.